welcome back. So uh, my son's car, the 2012 Prius uh, plug-in, when you try to install the car, it didn't start. So when I checked the battery voltage, it was only like a 7 point something volt for the auxiliary battery, which is uh, supposed to be 12 volt. And uh, so I jumped the car and he could drive it for a little bit and then come back. And I check all the interior lights and make sure nothing is on and everything. So some of probably the 12 volt auxiliary battery is going bad or needs to be uh, recharged because uh, 7.2 volt is below the threshold. So anyway, he just uh, came back. So I try to see if he start the car or not. So I press the brake. So it seems like it's on. So if I hit the brake, the ice engine is supposed to kick in. So yeah, it's back to normal. So I'm not sure if I need to ch charge it, but I'm going to charge it for a little bit and see. Unless uh, there's uh, some kind of slow drain on the battery. So we're going to remove the carpet and then the Flip it on the right side. Right here should be the battery right here, so we need to remove this. Yeah, I'm gonna open this flap. So I gotta remove this cover. Seems like the hybrid fan is on. Well, I had to use my two hand to take it out because uh, this uh, clip right here it locks it into its place, and uh, now you can reveal the batteries right here. Yeah, uh, the hybrid batteries, the thing is on. So the cold crane amp is uh, 325 amp. Yeah, let me see if I can try to charge it. Okay, I got this uh, wrong with these. Uh, to check the core cranking M and everything, see if the battery is good. Plug it in. Gonna check. In car, battery test, check surface charge, turn lights on, take headlights on about 10 seconds, turn it off. Hmm. Turn the headlights on. Starts recording. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one is the HGM flat. Core cranking amps uh, 325. 
It shows replace, huh? Well, let me try to charge it and see. Hopefully, it's gonna revive it. If not, then I need to change it. All right, so I plug in right now. It is uh, charging, but I'm not sure why it shows 100%. I still see the green light say charging. So I'm just gonna let it charge and see what happened. Um, and then I'll uh, let you guys know at the end. Well, I take out the battery out of the vehicle now. Let me do a battery check on this out of vehicle this is a AGM flat it's already preset so uh, it's supposed to be 325 uh, amp core cranking stay of health is only 29 amp and stay of charge, well, 0%. It's at 11.89. So when it was on vehicle, it's about 10 point something. Actually, earlier the resistance, the internal resistance was at 100 and something. Because I just uh, took out the charger real quick, it's uh, 82.54. So if you have an internal uh, impedance or internal the resistance is pretty high, the battery is not going to be good. So I'm going to charge it real quick out of vehicle and see how it goes all right so i'm going to test on this uh 2012 uh prius uh, plug-in uh, battery try to revive it so i put it on this uh top down tornado 1200 to uh, charge it this one uh we charge a uh, co uh, AGM. Okay, make sure you have the right charger. So unfortunately, this one would not take the charge. So I did use my old school uh, 10 amp uh, 12 volt uh, charger to bring up to the certain voltage, 10 uh, or 11 uh, voltage and above in order to charge this. So it shows a uh, 13.12 volt. That's a uh, pretty good see the voltage kind of dropped down because I unplugged the, uh, the charger so now I'm going to do the test I'm going to clamp it on the other one <laughs> So we're going to do a quick test on this uh, battery uh, tester. Positive, negative, negative. Wow. So it shows uh, good right now. Oops. Upside down. So it shows uh, good right now. Last time was uh, pretty bad. So I think 8 volt or 10 volt. So let's uh, do the low test. So we're going to test this out. Positive. Negative. And then we're going to switch to the low test. It shows, uh, well, less than 200 cold cranking amp. So this one actually has a 325 uh, core cranking amp. So 200 is uh, much better than before. Before it's only, I think it's only like 100. So the voltage still show 12 something, which is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, 
that was give you guys a quick test on this uh, barrier tester and then a barrier load tester. Hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or uh, drop any other comments on below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. I always be.